once I've had a warning, I've got one for each guy. Do it yourself, flood defence. Alan and Joan Preston live in Sandy Cove in Kimnall Bay, which was flooded in 2013. Most of the community here live in bungalows at or below sea level, so the threat presented by climate change is very real. The Prestons have done something about it. They saved and paid to make their home into what they hope will be a secure island in any but the worst flood. Because I'm in a wheelchair and if I get taken out of my house, it'd be very difficult to relocate me. So we've put floodgates at each door, we've put a one-way valve into the sewer and uh, we've put gravel boards all around the house and floodgates at each gate. So we will be protected as much as we can be. Just a few streets away, builder Kelvin Griffiths has gone a step further. His new home could be described as a floodproof fortress, complete with surrounding wall. I've worked on flood projects on Garford Road and in St Asaph there, and some of the houses have been repeat flooded. And, you know, for a small cost, you could flood protect them, and the companies need to do that, you know. You know, this is our retirement home, and I know in my lifetime this area will flood again. So, you know, I'll have peace of mind. It'll go around me. The community's chief flood warden is Barry Griffiths. He'd like to see Sandy Cove become Britain's first totally flood resilient community. It's a lofty ambition, but he believes the system has to be changed and Sandy Cove could be used to pioneer and test new thinking. Well, the current situation doesn't pass a test of common sense, does it? You have a place that's flooded and it's rebuilt to the same standard to be ready to flood again because one thing is certain that flood risk is increasing for whatever cause and so the probability is that people that have been flooded will be flooded again why not at the time that you have the repair take reasonable resilience precautions the reality is that there will be more storms and there will be more flooding the argument here is that it's cheaper to invest in making homes flood proof the dealing with the huge human and financial costs of disaster. Ian Lang, ITV News, Sandy Cove.